Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Joni Young and I'm going to show you step by step how to paint this pretty cascading flower. It's yellow and I believe it's called Mimosa. It's really really pretty and unusual. I don't see flowers like this where I live so it caught my eye and I wanted to try and paint it today and share that with you guys. So I've got a 9 by 12 stretched black primed canvas, a liner brush and a few filbert brushes. We're using cadmium yellow and titanium white to start. A little bit of black and then later on we're going to come in with some turquoise and phthalo blue. So I'm going to pick up quite a bit of yellow and start by pulling and swirling across the top for a little vine and then a little bit of black with that yellow will make it look green. We'll do some twisted looking little vines wrapping around and off of each of these we'll begin our flowers taking a big scoop and tapping for each little petal one at a time now in order for the color to stand out we need to have some white in there so I'm adding a bunch of white to each petal and then I'll just keep adding more and more yellow alternating between the yellow and the white for where I want more of a yellow flower and where I want a little bit more of a buttercream looking flower. So it's good to change it up and have all those petals, different tones. It almost looks like they're grapes hanging kind of. I really like the way these flowers look and they kind of remind me of wisteria. I think that's probably what caught my eye was that shape of the flower, the way they um, cascade. They kind of look like wisteria. And I'm just gonna keep adding them. They're gonna be bigger at the top and then they're gonna be smaller and smaller and smaller and get skinnier towards the bottom. Okay, I'm now going to add a bit of a white, light yellow highlight and do a few more of these twisted braided looking vines. Add a few more flowers. I'm really having fun painting on black canvases lately and you guys are asking if it's black gesso or black paint. Um, sometimes I'm using black gesso uh, and some of them are just black paint and I kind of just wanted to test it out and see if I noticed a difference and to be honest I really don't so I don't know if uh, you need to go and get a black gesso um, this is working just fine and it's just a craft um, lower brand more fluid type of black paint um, so yeah it's working fine I've got the canvas that I'm working on is Underneath the black, it's been double primed in white primer, um, and I purchased it like that at the store. So I want to bring in some more flowers up top here. And you can see I'm picking up quite a bit of paint, and it's really, really thick, and it's going to have a bit of a texture once it dries. So I'm taking big scoops, and then working the rest of it down the canvas on the rest of those flowers I'll come back and I'll add a little bit more white where I really want to add more color to after and I might just leave some of them a little bit more of that light yellow like I said earlier it's nice to have some uh, soft pastels in there and that way we just have a nice balance with all the other colors and um, the black canvas. So I'm going to wash my brush out now really well and I'm going to pick up some of my turquoise, one of my favorite colors. It's so pretty. And I'm using Liquidex today, Basics. So we'll squeeze a little bit of that out. I'm going to use my same filbert brush. I'm going to take a bit of the yellow 
with the turquoise and start swirling it into my vine and then adding it over top of the petals. Everything is still wet and that way all the colors can kind of pick up one another and blend together. So sometimes I'm adding a bit more yellow with a turquoise and other times I'm going to add more turquoise. Um, I'll even take a little bit of white with the turquoise to get a more of a bluey minty color. And I'll just add them here and there, little dabs for petals. Filbert brushes are really great for creating uh, easy and quick flower petals, guys. You really don't need to be intimidated when painting flowers. You can just do it in a loose, impressionistic style like this, and it'll still look really pretty. Okay, I'm going to wash my brush out. Switch over to my liner. I'm going to take black on the tip of my brush and start tapping in all those little dots that you find in the center of the flowers. So after washing all of that black out of my brush, I'm taking bits of white, yellow, and turquoise here and there and just outlining a little bit and adding some more just on these little buds, little baby buds that are going down towards the bottom of the canvas, just cascading. And then I'll do little wiggles for those tiny little vines. And then back to black, adding some more little dots. I'm also going to start outlining some of these flowers, not every single one. So I'll use, I'll alternate with the turquoise and white and yellow. It's just a nice little touch and it's fun to do. This is when a little liner brush comes in really handy. So as I pull around them, I'm, I'm getting excess paint on my brush from those petals, so I kind of just wipe it off, and then I go back for more. Okay, it's time for phthalo blue now. I'm going to take just a little bit of white so that this blue will show up over top of that black. I'm just going to add a little bit hints of blue here and there around the petals, around the vines. Not a whole lot of it, but just a little bit. Just to enhance the color. All these colors look so pretty together. You know, when I looked back at uh, the video when I was editing, it looked really pretty just as light yellow. I could have left it at that, and you guys definitely can. You can just do the yellow and white flowers. Now, I've been doing a lot of monochromatic and limited palette paintings lately, and I think I'm starting to come out of that now. You'll slowly see me start to be adding more and more color to each of my videos that will be coming out in the next month. Um, and. I'm doing some more little curly vines here. 
So you want to make sure you have the paint on the tip of your brush for this and barely touching that canvas when you do it. I'm going to continue to outline with some turquoise, a little bit of yellow, maybe a little bit of blue with that turquoise. So playing around with uh, the colors is a great way to um, get more confident with color mixing and learning what shades and tones and hues you can make with these colors. And you could do this with um, any three colors that you like. Um, you could do purple with the turquoise and the blue. That would be really pretty. Um, you could do one with reds and pinks and oranges. Um, I have another video coming out um, of cherry blossoms and it's done in cadmium red and white and I'll leave a link in the description box below uh, as well as other links that I think you guys might be interested in and a list of the colors and brushes in the canvas I'm using today. Now as I add the finishing touches to this painting I want to thank you guys again so much for joining me. Um, leave a comment below I love hearing from you. Like this video, share it, and please subscribe if you haven't already. Happy painting everybody and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!